AWS Service 45 of 128, Identity and Access Management. How does AWS decide who can do what and how your sensitive cloud services are kept secure? Let's explore AWS IAM and make sense of user, roles, and policies all in under a minute. Multiple people need access to your cloud, but not everyone needs the same permissions. Rita the database wizard needs full access. Jim in marketing just needs to query the Q3 sales figures. And of course, hackers should never get anywhere near your systems. AWS IAM solves this by creating users, roles, and policies. Users represent real people or apps, roles let services act on your behalf, and policies define exactly what actions are allowed. You define the users who can connect to your cloud services. That's Jim and Rita. Roles define the permissions that are allowed at each service. Think database engineer versus marketing team. We connect users and roles with policies. Who is allowed to do what? For example, Rita gets database engineer and Jim gets marketing team. The hackers, no role, no policy, no access. Jim logs in and accidentally tries to delete the Q3 table. IAM stops him. The marketing team role cannot delete tables. Meanwhile, Rita uses her database engineer role to safely add new columns. Everyone has exactly the access they need. Nothing more, nothing less. AWS IAM keeps your cloud secure and organized by giving just the right level of access to each user.